well known around that he had the ability to get you a job or to blacklist you. Professor Pellissippi State Culinary Arts Professor is still teaching at the community college even after an internal investigation found he had sexually harassed a student. Administrators did not suspend or terminate Tom Gaddis. They gave him a written reprimand. There have been three allegations against him from 2012 to 2015. We turn now to 10 News reporter Mark Salinger who spoke to one of the victims and has more on the investigation. Mark. Robin and John, the school's investigation found that Dr. Gaddis sexually harassed a female student. Like you said, this was the third allegation against him since 2012. The allegations detailed by a female student are shocking. She claims Tom Gaddis inappropriately touched her and used his position to intimidate her multiple times. It's really startling and it's really um, hard to go back to and think about. Caitlin Knight says in one instance, Gaddis reached down her pants and grabbed her underwear. It started with um, hugs and the hugs got longer and the touches more lingering and um, closer to inappropriate places and then, you know, pats on the butt as I was going by or leaving. A report from school administrators found another time Gaddis asked Knight to change clothes, then remained in his office and, quote, pulled her into his lap and slapped her on the butt. Knight is one of three women who have accused Gaddis of sexual harassment or allowing sexual harassment to happen between 2012 and 2015. Gaddis established the hospitality program at Pellissippi State in 1996 and was named Hospitality Educator of the Year in 2008 by the Tennessee Hospitality Association. In response to the investigation, school president Anthony Wise did not fire or suspend Gaddis. It is extremely disappointing. It was a huge opportunity for the administrators to take responsibility and take action and say this is a broken system. In a written reprimand, Wise said, quote, if any additional allegations of sexual misconduct or sexual harassment are brought against Dr. Gaddis, the college will take immediate action. Wise also told Gaddis he cannot touch any student, cannot have closed door meetings with students, and must complete sexual harassment training. Pellissippi State says all actions taken were done so under the policies and assistance of the Tennessee Board of Regents System Office. Gaddis is set to take a medical leave of absence in the fall and he will not teach classes then. He denied the allegations to investigators and he did not respond to our request for comment. Robin and John.